Hey what's up guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you my take on a couple of barbecue favorites that will blow your friends and family away. Barbecue pork back ribs and chicken shish kebabs. The summer is almost over, so invite your friends over to see it off in style and indulge in these delicious recipes. Let's start by preparing the ribs. Take a few racks of pork back ribs, put them in a roasting pan and spice them liberally with salt and pepper. Using a spice blend of equal parts paprika, garlic powder, onion powder, cumin, chili powder, and oregano, generously coat the top side of your back ribs. Proceed to get your hands dirty and rub those spices into the meat. This will really help bring out the flavors. Let the ribs stand for about an hour to really let the flavors melt and then broil uncovered in the oven for about 5 minutes. Broiling the ribs at high heat will crisp up the meat and help seal in the juice. After broiling the ribs, lower the temperature down to 300 degrees Fahrenheit and bake the ribs for 3 hours to get them nice and tender. To prepare the shish kebabs, first coat some chicken thigh pieces in the spice blend you used for your back ribs, and then cut some red onion, green bell pepper, and mushrooms into big chunks. Then to assemble, simply skewer the pieces in some kind of repeating pattern until the skewer is completely full. The pattern I decided to go for was red onion, chicken, green pepper, and then mushroom. You can also chop up your favorite fruits like pineapple or peaches or you can try adding some different veggies like zucchini or eggplant. There are a lot of different options to choose from, so try experimenting. When you finish making all your skewers, drizzle them with some olive oil to help them crisp up on the barbecue. This will also prevent the skewers from sticking to the barbecue grill. To cook the shish kebabs, barbecue them on a hot grill for a few minutes on all four sides, and then transfer to the top rack and bake until the chicken is cooked through. Lastly, when your ribs are finished in the oven, you want to finish them off on the grill. At this point, the rib meat will be very soft, so use two sets of tongs and carefully place the ribs on the barbecue. Slather the ribs completely in your favorite barbecue sauce and then give the ribs a few flip to char the meat and caramelize the sauce. This will give you that distinct barbecue flavor that will get your friends asking, how did he do that? And with that, we've finished two great barbecue dishes perfect for your next summer party. Anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you really enjoy this recipe because I know that I did. Please like, comment, subscribe. It really helps me out. And I hope to see you next time. Bye.